Welcome back to Elder Kings 2. In the last episode, we had another fight with House Rhetoron because House Lalu is trying to get as much territory as possible from House Rhetoron. And we are trying to get our territory back as well. But right now, what we're going to do is get our land back from the Upper Craglorn. And then after Upper Craglorn is taken, eventually we're going to attack Stonedale as, as well as soon as our ward comes of age so he can get his land back since he has claims to that territory. Uh, and then when Belanda dies, I guess I can open a spell book and cast a spell on her. Uh, I don't have to absorb skill. I could leech her health if I wanted to. She gets leeched health and she'll get a health minus penalty. Or I can do a supercharged version. Uh, or I can do a greater version. She'll suffer a major penalty to health and that way she'll die. Die sooner since she's she wanted to be a whore. Or I can get Eldrick to do it because I kind of don't want to waste my magic on her. Uh, decisions, decisions, decisions. Um, but I guess I don't have to. I can also destroy her health, or I can just let her die on her own. But let's begin our war, so we can c conquer our Dejure lands. Craglorn, declare war. I wish we could just negotiate with him to get our lands back, because I'd rather do this, because I'm pretty sure he would understand and just say hey give me the lands but he wants he won't accept vassalage for some reason uh cultural acceptance you are a different faith difference in military strength the max is 20. why is coral all the way over oh coral has some land uh i think i was going to declare go to war against them yeah i was i was going to have reveal reveal on our side because I wanted to already have an alliance I, w I would rather propose a marriage like he's terrified and I can't kill her for some reason so I'm just gonna have to wait over Lady Murris I could arrange a marriage between her and myself and then we can have a child maybe Attempt to romance, uh, gaining prestige, improving their opinion, and possibly becoming soulmates. Attempt to seduce her. I uh, can't seduce her. That's not going to work. I can try to romance her. And then I can try to seduce her that way. We can become friends first. And then I don't know how long it's going to take. Uh, I think I can torture her though. Uh, my old wife for betraying the family. Uh, yeah, we can ransom her off. Belanda. Create an undead thrall. I can just turn her into an undead thrall and not worry about it. And then I can just divorce her like that. Cause I don't want to divorce her. Lose twenty five. All close family members lose five. I can do that. Just divorce her. Torture. Might discover a secret. Loses thirty three stress. Gain eighteen dread. She loses one hundred opinion of me and all close family members. Uh, see, that's the issue. She is my great granddaughter. I'm just gonna turn her into an undead thrall instead of using my spells for that no one's going to Shay realized or asexual create undead thrall oh man you have gained an undead thrall hook on Malarna uh we can divorce her great perfect now I'm free to marry reveal see if we arrange a marriage between myself and over lady Murtis. uh she will not accept unless I get a hook. Chance of children none. Over Lady Murdis is too old. 
Oh, that's unfortunate. We'll have no children. That's the unfortunate situation. There's Princess Gala of Breville. She's too old. Prince Labrax of Brazil. Where's Princess? He's 11. Uh, this one has a husband. So I can just kill the husband probably. And then go that way and then just kill the others. And then get some and then I can marry her. That should work. Because we have to arrange. It doesn't matter if I'm married or not. Uh, so before we start this war. I guess we could do a court event. Uh, but I don't think it's necessary. Declare war. Seize all the your lands. Declare war. Raise all men at arms here. This military. This thing. We don't need that. Good. Okay. So they're all back. Got ransom. Raise, raise, raise my risen dead. We need some more Daedra, but we'll, we'll raise them when it's time. Summon another Daedra army. Okay. Merge all these together. And I shall rule over this. Now, I do need to take their army. I didn't even see how strong their armies are. But we'll see how it goes. Let's do the court event. Aristocratic pretensions. Three of my counties are overtly discussing my great number of titles within deliberate earshot, loudly lamenting how taxing it must be for the Malaran to manage so many estates himself. They are as thick as thieves, faithful to Dysa, a sermon of the court, gallant de la Thaleo. My distinguished Pelin, self-made amateur Isaiah, who takes any chance in bodily absent a shred of humility. Over the den of courtiers gossiping, I clearly make out the words Lordship and Jarbrun, in which I am certain was to dice a simpering tone. The shameless trio turn to look my way, and I catch them a gl glare. Yes, yes, to dice the Jarbrun is yours. Gets Lordship of Jarbrun. Why would I... Why would I give her that? I don't want to give them any of that yet. Uh, gets a weak hook on Tadisa. This little game can end. The Lord sh is dealt the lails. Uh, we're not going to give it to him either. Uh, Amateur Asaya, they're all lowborn. The title is yours. Know what you're up to. It's t time to prove your worth. Uh, gains the trait ruin. Okay, they can fight each other for it. Each of you tell me why you deserve a title. And then I get court grandeur. What are you looking at? And then they can just... Because I don't feel like giving away titles to them right now. To any of them. And we were probably going to have to sway them. But I'm not going to give any titles away right now. This is the era of fighting. Probably I can just fight this army. Mm. Oh no, can we fight this army? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Definitely gonna fight. I have an elite army, so we should be able to wipe them off the face of the planet. Murder and route. When the time comes, my agents will need a safe escape route. 
out of Chieftain Mool's castle. Should anything go wrong, a detailed map of the local plain and all its hidden paths caves should be an invaluable resource. I'll do it myself. Thoroughly informed. The serving status of a court is often conveniently overlooked as they overhear conversations, clean up, move unnoticed through the hallways. This is also the case of my acquaintance, Duke Aspatius's court. Definitely get informants. Headmaster Piot then has approached me, claiming he has discovered someone in my close family has been having an extramarital affair. He has offered to provide me with everything he knows, including names and evidence in exchange for a lump sum of gold. Uh, 300. That's a lot of gold. But I really don't care if they're having an extramarital affair or not. Honestly. A meal to die for. My agents have prepared for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look the other way. The poison has been acquired. And the duck was gifted to cheat the mool alone. It will be rubbed. Uh, we're going to attempt the murder. Even though it's not likely it's going to succeed. Meow. I look down to see that my cat shadow has dropped a scroll at my feet. Sealed in my concubine Palillo's to parallels distinct style giving it to curiosity I skim the text keeping the secret ways on me to think that she was hiding such a thing you learned the parallels worshipper of Hermaeus Mora secret that's perfectly fine you can worship Hermaeus Mora Milted, I, of course, he escaped. And Mool is none the wiser. Next time, I will make sure he chokes on it. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again, yes. 45, I don't have a good chance of killing him. So I'll abandon that. Assault Fort, fully stocked. Are they coming for a fight? Even if they battle, no matter where they go, they won't make make it in time. A lesson in charity. Deja brought my grandson A Chain to the market today. A Chain was to hand out alms to the poor and needy, to learn about charity and a ruler's plight to the less fortunate. The handsome child gave something to everyone. Deja says, and when the purse ran dry, he insists that we go get another. Very selfless, maybe even excessively so. Seems that little A-Chain has a very big heart. It is our plight to give as much as we are able. I'd rather him be generous. To crush, to crush, to crush everything. Good. I took High Chieftain Marjo's daughter Stuga hostage. Uh, I guess now we just have to defeat this army and we're good. Uh, the existence of my plot to murder Duke Aspasius has been discovered. No one cares. Kill him. Accost them. My agents have scheduled a journey for Duke Espolgius, which will take them through dark wool. It's good. It has left this world sent off by a bandit's blade. However, one of the bands must have been captured for it. It's gonna light that I was behind the attack. Ooh. And spouses of Duke Espolgius lost 120 opinion of you. That's unfor That's unfortunate. That, that might like hurt. Uh, that only that only deal with the spouse. No one cares, honestly. Now we need. Now we might as. Now we can just me 
and Princess Galia. She will not accept. Galia Credo is marrying up. Duchess Race's opinion of you. The vassal in the Kingdom of the Realm. Why is she the recipient? That makes literally no sense. Duchess races, faith differs. Gala Crito is dear to Duchess races. And I can't sway her because she's a child. So I'm just going to have to murder the kid. And that's perfectly fine. And the question is, are, do I, oh yeah, I already have a hook on her. I don't know why she's she's the one and not the mother but whatever it's necessary for the nocturnal dynasty uh, the battle of stronghold of Pirata run as the battle rages on i find myself in the midst of a small pocket of close quarters combat with the help of my men we smashed the op opposition with ease but the focus of the attention was on me who managed to put on a particularly impressive display whilst fighting the unrelenting enemy as i take a second to catch my breath after the attack i noticed some of my soldiers watching on with admiration for my impressive fighting display are you not entertained Kindred minds. After laborious preparation, I was finally able to spend some time alone with over Lady Murtis. In the end, distance was not a great hurdle for me to overcome in order to earn over Lady Murtis' trust. Good. Now, can I seduce her? Uh, let me romance. Yeah, sing a love song. Classic Nibelini's love ballad, which suits Murtis perfectly. She won't resist my challenge for long. Okay, that was another one. At the end of my Spymaster Eldrick's latest report, he paused for a moment. There is something we should know about your Pellin. Reglada has many secrets. I did not know it to be true. Non-believer, that's perfectly fine. I guess we're just gonna have to take more land. Oh, okay. So that proved that we need to promote culture some more. Dragon Cult is still spreading. A Dragon Cult is spreading on its own, which is good. We got Court of Hermes Mora, uh, which is fine. The Cult of Hermes Mora can stay for now. Uh, we got Windhelm to change, so I want Solitude to change now. Uh, it's going to take seven years, but that's perfectly fine with me. Good. Occupy the city. War is over. Enforce my demands. Your vassal and Pelin. Aaron Lanage are good. Expand the armies. I can hold court. Hold a grand sacrifice. That's something to do. Since we did win and before we go into our super long battle, uh, I say because we're going to have to fight the Ashlands. Well, we don't have to fight the Ashlands first. We can fight Redern. House Redern first. Uh, and get our Dejure lands. Or we can fight Solstheim first. But I'll wait on... I'll wait on Solstheim. Uh, let's fight House Ritterin first. Because so, they've been losing 
battle to battle. But we're going to hold court. And I want to hire someone to get a cr get that crown. Metal, she wants to forge a crown because we definitely need a good crown. So sponsor that inspiration. Let's hear the petitioners. It seems my son Aaron Evander has been nursing a temper while waiting an awaiting an audience. My lord, I cannot abide your tolerance of unbelievers like Alderman Eoram and the realm, even amidst the nobility. Alderman made his demands on us plain. Nocturnal should be a land of the faithful, out with these Nordic pantheon dogs. You are right, Alderman Eoran must convert. Uh gains unwanted faith for fifteen years. Popular opinion minus fifteen. Every non Dragon Cold vessel loses ten opinion of you. Uh that doesn't matter to us. By kind I now see the truth. You convert to Nordic Pantheon. Ha <laughs> no. I judge a woman by their credulity, not their beliefs. All faiths are people in my empire. Every non dragon cult vassal gains ten opinion of you. No. Every non dragon cult vassal. Yeah, pretty much. Lost fifteen opinion of you. Oh, you refuse to convert. That that's all right. I don't know why she's a vassal anyway. Town of Hasford. We plan on imprisoning her anyway. Stuart Alia is visibly motivated by some grand proposal. Great Malaren, there is much potential in your errand cell of hunting brew for a regional center of commerce and artisans. With funds for construction, the groundwork for the area's first empire sea could be laid in Pelagia by consulting con by consolidating villages. Trade should be encouraged. Start construction of the city in Pelagia. Three twenty will be refunded if construction is manually cancelled. Gain city funded for twenty five years. There are more important matters to attend to. It's perfectly fine. Let's get another city. Alderman Eorum comes forward proceeding with marked Carson. Your Grace, my town of Hagsford grows rich by our burgers. Dealings with the trading ships which ply the havens along Nocturnal's coast. We have made our town and you prosperous and deserve greater influence over Winterhold. Winterhold is yours to rule. Uh, Winterhold belongs to me. Holding construction costs minus 10%, development costs plus 20%, which is good. Pays 300 to you, gets Aaron Cell of Winterhold. Such privileges must be justified. And then he get the air and soul of winter oh, You ask too much. There must be some other way. Mercantile charter. Holding taxes minus 20%. But we get developing growth. Be satisfied with your present liter liberties. Uh, it seems the burgers forget their place. Alderman. Oh yeah, I need to get rid of her too. I definitely need to get rid of her. So... Oh yeah, that's the same person. Okay. We're not going to just give you the land, so that's crazy. You find a compromise. And then I'm going to arrest her. Good. Town of Hagsford. Revoke her title. She doesn't need this. Good. Now she's in prison. Ransom. She has gold. Pin it. Could I'll kill her later. Romance and embarrassing odor. I have secured an invitation to a feast in Castle Breville and a seat close to Myrtle. Despite my determined attempts, I am failing to strike up a conversation. She is probably rendered spe speechless by the intensity of my affection. Suddenly, the loudest fart I have ever heard erupts from our table. A few of the guests are looking at murders, I must say. It was me. I farted. I spend prestige. 67% chance. Gain opinion. 
Perhaps I should stay quiet. Uh, let's risk it. Uh, she already has all this opinion of me. So, the scheme, romance, game, kindness. Uh, I need to risk it. Mertis is relieved and grateful. Good. No, I can romance her and then get another hook on her. Uh, okay, so what else needs to be taken? Holly Frost? Parentil of Skulver. I took something away from her. Romance glimmering goes. We Lady Mertis, I sigh as I kneel before her. My only desire is to bring you honor and happiness. Pray tell me, how can I prove my love for you? Mertis gives me a long look. Lady Narina's necklace is lovely. She says and nods her head in the direction of Viscountess Narina of Nasa. Vassal in the Kingdom of Reveal. Commission an identical necklace. Offer Narina a favor for a necklace. Steal it. Compliment Murdis' taste. Yeah, I don't need her as a vassal anyway. You get away with the necklace. By Metis Fifth Glory updates me on her progress. Droning on about the limits of mold and bellows as my mind reels with bold ideas for my crown. Make Making may not be my personal forte, but that doesn't mean I can't say I can't have a say in how my money is spent. My background gives me some unique insights. The artifact produced through Galore's Varen's Metal Swiss inspiration might be a slightly higher quality. Uh I have a few suggestions. With the stewardship it will be of a higher quality, just straight up. Your ideal works well. Perfect. Let's pause this. They're interfering. Oh, Jarboon in Hoxford. Oh yeah, we can give this away. Uh, since I just my old wife. Belanda. I don't know what happened to her. Okay, Dunister, Snowell, your Pelin and Rival, Storm, Hollymar, your Marshal. Uh, I guess we could, since they're not here for some reason. Oh, we have a lot of newborn children. Grandson of Arana Belanda. Ooh, this is so great. We have all these Mathmeldi. All a part of the nocturnal dynasty. Granddaughter of. Okay, that's nice. Club footed and drunkard. <sighs> Useless. Fornicator. Prince Oral of the Pale. Oh, he produced a, a proper son. One of these days, we need do need to go over and look at all the promising children. We'll give it to Limtalel, Nocturnal. He's impatient, gluttonous. Hinodaya, though. Arvin Cell of Helljarkin. Yeah, let's put her over here. All of these, they're coming up and they're not suffering. We have a lot of different nocturnals. We'll just give it to him. Lordship of Oxford. Okay. Military, we still need our men at arms to grow a little bit more. 718. So I could, I could just wait some time. Hold a grant. We still got more money. So I can use this time to invest and just max them out. Max, 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 max. Dragon Priest is going to require piety. I'm not going to spend piety right now. 
by the tribunal Roman leave me alone the peaceful atmosphere is shattered by Galori yelling as she storms into the courtyard to Dysa quickly follows but stops when she sees me my liege Peach talks some sense into Galori I'm trying to help her since I have some experience that may improve her work convince Galori to listen to to Dysa the artifact produced through Galori Verum's metal swift's inspiration might be of slightly higher but the chances of that Working is not going to be good. Order to Zaisa to leave Galar Galori alone. Grows closer to forming a rivalry with Galori. You go closer to forming a friendship with Galori Varam. Uh, I'm not going to risk my artifact because. Oh, I could do this. Goes close for. Oh, rivalry with you. It's 44% chance. If I do the learning one, produce through Glory Verizon, might be of a slightly lower quality. Glory Verizon, uh, I don't want to risk it. Romance, unpleasant pleasantries. How long until we get? Oh, 11 more months and then we get more mage and then we can get some spell blades and then they get toughness and screen i can wait 11 months maybe romance unpleasant pleasantries i'm attending a dance in classical reveal to spend some time with over lady Murtis. the mere thought of touching hands makes my heart jump but when i arrive i found her stuck in a conversation with viscountess moria of Mercorp, the abhorrent woman draws on and on, totally oblivious to Murtis's discomfort. A little distraction seems appropriate, and then I'll get kindness. I already have kindness. I will take your place better I suffer than her. Enough, you are boring the lady to death. Uh, a little distraction with my entry ability. Duchess Race's time has come. All things fall eventually. Kingdoms, lords, children pushed from high places. My agent will leave a trail of sweets leading up, 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 high enough to set little Duchess Race's stomach tingling. Once at the top, she will find a basket full of treats hanging over the wall, and as she reaches down to untie the rope, it will be see so easy for her to slip. Yeah, let's go. At least everyone thinks she falls by accident. Good. Eight stress, uh, no one cares. This is all necessary for what must be done. Prince Lebrax. Probably I should just marry Prince Lebrax off. Nine, of course, I'm not gonna be the one who marries. Uh, my daughter, Prince Gothilma. Luckily, I have a proper daughter. What do you mean will not accept? You have too many existing alliances. Over Lady Murdis' opinion of Gothilma is reduced. Over Lady Murdis' faith differs. Lebrac's credo is dear to Olit. Over Lady Murdis is impressed by my royal court. Different heritage. Uh, and of course, I'm going to have to have it matrilineal. I could use a hook, but that still won't work. Oh... What about Prince Gala? She married again? Marina the Young of the Rim? Queen Marina? Why is she in here? Over there, murder a Braville. Braville is kingdom titles. Is Braville. So why is someone else over her? This is Murtis. Will be nocturnal. He'll get 700. Vastly inferior military. But this is Murtis. And then they don't. Then why am I so much higher? Pain of you. Le level splendor obviously. Credo is dear to Ola. I'm not going to do this. This guy must be male and bi, but that's not going to produce heirs. 
and I need heirs. Uh, my great granddaughter and vassal. This would work. Now he's marrying down. Why? Because she's my great granddaughter? Even though she has land? Oh, okay. So it needs to be my daughter, and my daughter needs to. I need to have more daughters so I can. Children born will be. No. Princess Hoffengar and Prince Lebex get betrothed. My granddaughter. Great, and then we'll have another alliance. Prince Lebrex, and then we just have to kill the other ones. And then he'll be the heir. And then they'll be in the Nocturnal Dynasty. Great. Same proposal. So, primary heir. Get ready to die. Great. Turn the map smoke. To the end of Miller and Vernell Nocturne, I'll gladly accept your betrothal proposition. Your granddaughter, Haolinke, will be betrothed to my son, Lebrex. Great. I have arrived in Dragon Reef to pay homage to you, glorious Malarian, a show of my loyalty. I bring you rich gifts. Good. Throod. This is how my vassals are supposed to act. Uh, can decrease county edicts. High service requirements, high taxes. We don't need hot taxes. Speaking of stuff, uh, close that down, close edicts. Uh, wooden barracks, I really don't care about that. Simple earthen works. I want to bo boost up the homestead to meadows. <laughs> Has a temple grounds building or it's upgrade. Oh, this is not upgraded. The West Soldier culture has the manorialism. <sighs> Don't worry. We'll upgrade that. Knock them out. After yet another beautiful day, I slump down on a chair in my chamber. For how long will I be able to keep this up? Suddenly I hear a quiet meow. My cat shadow jumps up on my lap and starts purring. I sit with him for a while, just listening to the calming sound and petting his black fur. Great. So the cat is not always useless. Challenge for artifact to the worthless Ver Malaren Veranel. You have something that should belong to me. Face me in a duel for it and let the winner earn the right to own it. Why would I do that? Of House Redren? On decline, I spend prestige and you gain prestige. What artifact is she talking about? What is my prowess right now? 57? What artifact is she talking about? And Dilu single combat, the victor will keep or gain the artifact. I hate that they making a claim on an artifact but not telling me the artifact. It is. I could just give her the prestige. I don't know what artifact she's talking about. What if it's Ruth or I but she shouldn't have Ruth Hart. Sure, I'll accept. Because she's going to lose. She has a fearsome dragon guard. Katana. Oh. Which I'll grip my own Ruth Hart tightly. Well, I grip my own Ruth Hart tightly. The daily weapon feels cool and weighty in my grasp. This fight may only be till first blood, but that doesn't ease my nerves. Better women than you have tried to break my guard. Uh, very high. Increase your chance of success. Uh, definitely gonna do. Attack first, attack hard, and guard. Putting all my strength to my first strike, I leap straight for Andilu. Hefting my axe high into a powerful cleave that sent her reeling. Andilu wastes no time, meeting me with an intense series of powerful cleaves that forced me back step by step. My form is good with only small errors and duly stands as formidable. We are are evenly matched with victory balancing on a knife stage. What is her prowess? Her prowess is 73.
of House Redoran has happened. Increase your likelihood of success. Oh, so I already know what she has done. Trade taste silver, Doxy. You hurl a he heavy silver purse at Andy's face. You learn lose twenty gold. Uh, no increase to your injury. Increase medium increase to your likelihood of success. I should try that. Would that help help me? Snatching every purse of money from my waist, I lob it at Andilu. It hits her right in the face, giving me a brief opening for a quick slash with my axe. Andilu tries to faint left with her sword, only to strike for my heart with a concealed, concealed dagger in her offhand. My form is excellent, with little chance for mistake, and Andilu's stance is formidable. My opponent is still holding off my blows well, but she seems close to faltering. Wow, that was nice. Go force my arcane powers. Force shock, you wave your axe, focusing on the arcane elements and summoning their power, shooting a fused spark of the three arcane elements. I'll show you how I heft an axe. With skill and points, you make a series of well-placed strikes. I want to use my magic powers, gain knife to hand for five years, injury plus four. Gain knife to hand, increase her likelihood of success, medium increase to her risk of energy. Let's use my magical powers to deal with her. I wave my axe, focusing on the arcane elements and summoning their power, and Diglu doesn't have any time to parry the confused spark of elements that shoot from my axe, hitting her. And Diglu retaliates with smooth, flowing series of quick slashes and powerful cleaves, each strike forcing me back a little more. My form is excellent, but with little chance for mistaken, and Diglu's stance is incredible. My opponent's guard is fierce, and I feel far from victory. I'll show you how I have an axe. Strike, parry, repost. Expert onslaught, you throw out a flurry of rapid attacks and counters. What? Even my best powerful cleaves seem to have no effect, and Dilu fights with the inertia of the earth itself, letting me tire time and time again. Till I feel my grip on my axe weaken, my opponent must have read something in my stance because a firm sweep of her sword sends my weapon flying. I lose the single combat to Andilu due to sudden death. You'll rule the day you defeated Miller and Vernil. The durability has decreased by 13. What was the battle for anyway? I still have all, all of these. You lost hide of the elusive rabbit. Oh, that's what she wanted? Uh, open spell book. Restoration, Mandoon. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it myself. Mandoon. Mend wound is man's wounds and makes infections disappear. Do no more than what is necessary. It seems that the worst has passed. My gaping wounds and broken bones have started to slowly knit themselves together. And now I have severely injured. As Amethyst, I uh, upended a bottle of wine over my wound. The pain has beyond anything the injury itself has brought me. Please bear it. My malaria is necessary to dispel the foulness within and indeed after bandaging the wound okay excellent work i didn't know her prowess was that great cast my wound but today i'm capable of many things that are impossible a moon ago great so now we're just wounded so I need a little bit more magicka. I 
romance the wild hunt. When Murdis invited me to a hunt, I did not hesitate to accept. I could not imagine a more lovely sight than her stunning profile atop the back of a stallion. I'm stalking through the underbrush, my page at my heel and my hound just ahead. It seems as if it has found a trail. Then suddenly my concentration is shattered by a woman's scream. I'm coming for you. Within what must have been a minute but felt like an hour, I reach a clearing. Murtis is on the ground before me, disheveled and weaponless opposite her and just about to strike stands as usual. My arrow strikes true and the beast falls to the ground. For a moment, all Murtis can do is stare. But then she stumbles towards me and throws herself into my arms. I need you, my love, right here, right now. Okay. So... We can find more people to kill. Cause I'm trying to kill Tana cause I still want her. So let's try to kill this guy too. Cause I already uh, married off my granddaughter to the other guy. So I guess it's not completely necessary to get um, schools of magic. It's going to be done in seven months. Oh, it's time for a grand right. Uh, yeah, let's get a diplomacy perk. Adaptive transitions, foreign affairs effectiveness, force vacillation. You're able to use the force vacillation gas ability. Of a neighboring independent ruler of lower rank unlocked by the force vessels perk. Vassalize any ruler that does not have more than three counties in their realm. The limit is increased by plus two for each of the following innovations. Mm. Diplomat, independent ruler, opinion, plus 20 personal scheme power, which I would like. Uh, benevolent intent, sway scheme power, monthly prestige per dread. Monthly prestige per night, true ruler, writing history, life of glory, dignitas, and August diplomacy and martial increases, flatterer, personal skin thicker than water, for intrigue. Okay, I don't have the seducer trait yet, but eventually I will. Then I can get Patriarch. Each Living Trout gives you one random skill point. Maximum five. It's going to give you two random skill points. So I can get more friends. Thicker than water. Personal schemes against family members. Uh, That is possible. We can get that. To Yeah, let's get Heart of the Family. Because we're all about family. Grand ride until next time. Together if they're true true family. Broody has decided not not to be a part of the family. We're using Jesus' definition of family. I don't know if you're familiar with the verse where he says, Who, who are these? My mother, my brother, and my sisters. And then he uh, says, those who follow the will of God, these are my mother, my brother, and my sisters. Uh, let the writer begin. Inspiration, Fickle Philip. I bump into a very grave looking Galori. My metalsmith, hoping that she doesn't bring ill news of the splendid crown she should soon have ready for me. Oh, there you are, my liege. I've hit a wall in my work, nothing major. My ideas have gone to the ground as the pressure mounts, she laughs nervously. I just need some inspiration. Mighty Malarian, might you have some prior examples I could examine? I know what you need. The artifact produced through the glory of Aaron's metal spirits might be of a slightly higher quality. 10%, 10%, 40%, nothing happens. 30%, metal spirit inspiration. So I got 40%. Uh, I just have, because I have the re registration, I have a tonic that's going to increase things much better. She might die, but it's a 2% chance that that happened. Gained one progress. Great. Grand right. The full moon rises. As the moon rises in the heavens, heralding his arrival, I can feel my body responding to the strange energies in the air. 
rely on my charisma. Let's do the intrigue. The full moon rises. As Magir to instruct me in the art of poetry, more learning. Uh, that's fine. We can we can get more learning. Monthly piety per knife. Faith creation and reformation costs minus fifty percent. That's good. Now we're grand ride until next time. Uh, let me save it. I don't want it to accidentally crash if I look into the fate. Oh, okay. We're still here. Your old faith will consider you righteous. My close family, 24, 26 vassals will convert. Show vassals. Who won't convert? Mayor Sh Jorvar? Oh, he's in order of Pantheon. Uh, we can imprison him. Uh, and we can imprison her as well. You are awaiting response regarding another matter. Uh, that's fine. Great. City of Solitude. Oh, the new place that we made. Can we ransom them off? Yeah, we'll ransom them off. Get the gold. And we'll kill them later. Uh, the existence of my plot to murder Tanisha's credo has been discovered. While well, my varmint is not yet known, no one cares. Okay. So, 24 out of 25 of my vassals will convert. The element Horkvir of the Snow Quarter costs 2,136. I still want to wait until I get 10,000. Profit minus 50%. That'll be good. I might just be able to revoke his title. Town of Snow Quarter, great. Revoking lordships is not in care tyranny. Okay, great. That way I don't have to arrest him. Good for him. For not fighting what's what's coming. Okay, I have solitude. Empty holdings. Harbor side. Can construct a new holding. Ruins. Edicts. I have solitude. The city. I have solitude. The city. Castle Dower. Solitude. Temple. And Solitude Temple, and then I have Solitude the City. So instead of doing Solitude and giving that away, I think it will be best to give away something else like Aaron Cell Development. Like I can give Jarbon up. My Axford. Okay, this is the College of Ritterhold. My Academy building. I wonder if I can upgrade this to get a local school. 412. I'm willing to do that. We need to upgrade the College of Winterhold anyway. And then we can probably get a Major's Tower. Minute Arms Maintenance. We can probably upgrade that next. We can give away the castle. So we can grant this to someone. Enthalil Nocturnal. Vengeful. He's attuned. He has claims on Yorgrim and Dinstad. Princess Bokuna. Reeve Amari of Dawnstar. A twin. Darkmoor. She has claims on that. Let's give it to her. What is this? Peasant leader? Oh yeah, we're not going to give it to you. Uh, grant title. And now we can look into our realm. There's probably something else. I don't want to give it. Oh, uh, we have Holly Frost. <laughs> that can be given away. I just need Wind Helm. Holly Frost can be given away. 
The question is this what is this? Is this the Isha March? Malaparan of Skyhammer. I wonder if there were is there anyone useful to give it to? Duchies, kingdom titles. Belanda. Who's she married to? Aran Shane of Eastmarch, your great grandson. They have a lot of children. Uh she's dead. Of Gallows Rock. Probably we can give it to him. Uh but we'll give it to Belanda and she'll give it to whoever she seems like it would be a good idea to give it to. Ah, I have no need of that. Now wait five more months. Uh, hold mystical communion, I guess. It's gonna cost piety. But I only need like a few more learning traits so I can still hold the mystical communion. Time has come for the nocturnal. Perfect. These grand rites are perfect ways to get stuff. Magnificent crown. Prestige. Vassal limit plus 14. Building construction cost minus 8. Prestige per powerful vassal on the council. A legendary headgear. Thank you. Night effectiveness plus 15. Magnificent crown. I do not profess to fully understand your habits However I must apply to you I will teach you and you shall be wise Murder The limo that reached down Dahmer is Murris code In my scheme to murder Tenicius I have enlisted the help of Telari Who it turns out is something of an Encyclopedia when it comes to languages Using her vast knowledge of several dialects She has created a code which she claims Is uncrackable Not only would a master cryptographer be required They also would need to understand the subtleties of reach tongue grammar The details of Lilithu Proverbs Awakening in mind Dumeris word structure Seems like a waste of time. Nah, we're gonna do it. The Dastardly Malarin, the latest work of my rival and vassal, Priestess Alia. Spawn of my turn. Sometimes fate is far too cruel to put a lord's crown on such a mule. Life itself shrivels and you lose 50 opinion of you, you gain. <sighs> she, is causing, she is causing too too many problems. Probably I should just imprison her. And then executor. Uh, I can always find a new steward. She's causing too many problems. In prison. Grand right, the full moon rises. Intrigue lifestyle perk. Understandable, that's his thing. Uh, temple of War Sorg's head. You spend 250 prestige. Uh, I don't want to spend the prestige. I'm just going to execute her. Uh, all close fa all dynasty members of uh, Priestess Al Alia. No one cares. Gain prestige. Goodbye. Now I don't have any uses of you anymore. Develop castle. Good. Now I need to find someone on the council. We need someone who is useful. Adona Delestris of Castle Tower. Now it's 20, but it should do. Good. Intrigue. Oh. 26 out of 27. Intrigue perks unlocked. 26 out of 27. What am I missing? Oh, I didn't have seducer. Okay, so I need I don't need any more intrigue. So the charm Malaria and Veranella Nocturnal. Despite our lack of bonds by blood, I believe we both stand to gain from an alliance. I propose that we join our forces, fight our foes together. Who is this loser? 
Chill drink? No, decline. You can become my vassal. Yeah, probably because he's someone else's vassal. My my grandson is not of age yet, so we can't take Stonedale, which we will in the future. Okay, we have done quite the bit of work. Our military should be the oh, we're still recruiting some mages. Council The Scandal, my kinswoman Arpena Gothilma has been showing the signs of pregnancy for some time now. And everyone thought that her husband Arpen Untamir, my great grandson, was father by the child. Now it has become Clear that the real father to be is none other than Arp and Noda Thaleo. Perfect, perfectly fine. Great Grander Bokuna has been showing the signs of pregnancy. Uh, Bokar, my great grandson, that's perfectly fine. Murderer, my grandson Arp and Lena Thaleo has, has murdered my great grandson Reeve Naro War in cold blood. Why? And Prince Eldrick Stewart. You're not. You have the entire world to do that. Reeve Nawar. He was married to Vanoni Orso. There is no redemption for such a crime. There is none. He will pay one way or another. It's time to imprison him. The cries murdering, allowing you to imprison him. And does nasty Kinslayer. Imprison. I have to imprison him. I can't let that slide. Although there is no way to conclusively prove it, Thorduel, a commoner from Sarthal, has brought forward evidence that Sildain is not the son of my Prince Eldrick. Not the son of my son, Prince Eldrick, but that he was fathered by none other than him. So Dane is without blame, yet his consequence could be dire. Thordul and Arpen is Lada, on the other hand. But that he was fathered by none other than him, Thordul Quarter. So Dane Nocturnal. As per my orders, Arp is now confined to his home. Treacherous villain. It's unfortunate. It's because you're a drunkard and a murderer. Useless. No heritable traits at all. Child of a concubine. Arp cell of... Nah. We're gonna move him to the dungeon. And you're not going to be let out. You're going to stay there forever. For the rest of your life. When time has come. My agents are in place. One of them will pay the assassin. Do it. Kill the guy. Escaped unharmed. Tenacious. <sighs> Just murder him again this time. Okay. So we got that down. Now we can get men at arms. And we can have another regiment, which is good. The men at arms is going to take an 11 years to do, which is perfectly fine. Because now I can create the spell swords. They're spell blades, 64 damage, 48 toughness. They counter mages, archers, and light infantry. And I can create for 90. Seven out of seven. These are my spell swords. Good. Increase this size. And now the size of the spell swords are 15. Eventually I'm going to increase their size even more. 
but I can increase to two at the cost of 90. Great. I think that's a good, I think that's a good size. Call to war. Joins abomination cleansing of the Duchy of Arakan. Is this even important? Okay, so in the next ep episode, we are going to go to war. And this will actually help us. Because we can pause, we can see who our enemies are. Aaron Cell of Falkriath. I don't know how that's an enemy army. Commander Arpina Marlboro. I don't know how that's an enemy army. But it looks like she might do a good job by herself. But this works for us in the next episode. We're going to go to battle. War, war, and more war. So, thank you for watching.